What's poppin'? So today's video will be reacting to another video by uh, Angelifinia. I think I said it wrong. Don't mind me. Uh, this one is dating talk in the UK. So in the US, we have different dating talks, but in the UK, it might be a little different. So uh, let's check it out. Let me guess. You thought French was the most romantic language there was, right? Wrong. Turns out us Brits have got a language of love to call our own. And much like Benedict Cumberbatch singing a One Direction song while stroking a kitten, it's pretty hard to resist. Okay. Dating can be confusing at the best of times. When should I text? Is it okay to hold hands on the first date? At what point do you reveal the shrine you've made from strands of the hair that you've collected from the shower for the past eight years? The answer to that last one, by the way, is never. It didn't go down well. Sorry, Nigel. But on top of all that usual stuff, Americans also have to get their heads around our often confusing dating terminology. Careful now, you might start to blush. If you think someone is hot or good looking, you can say that they are fit. Whether or not they're actually in good physical shape doesn't really come into it. It simply boils down to finding them attractive. Elizabeth Bennett thought Mr. Darcy was proper fit. He's well buff, she whispered to herself. Buff is a word that has the same meaning as fit. The American equivalent would be to call someone a hottie. Another more recent phrase that's becoming more and more popular is bang tidy, which has been popularized by the British fictional comedy character Keith Lemon. And is usually interesting so far. <laughs> to hot female. Mr. Darcy glanced over at Miss Bennett and exclaimed, She is bang tidy. Yes, you couldn't deny that these two fancied the pants off each other. Outside of the UK, fancy is generally applied to swanky hotels, Fabergé eggs, and Iggy Azalea songs. But over here, to fancy someone means to be attracted to them. During the 16th century, the word fantasy started to take on the meaning of desire and was shortened to fancy. So if you desired someone, you would say you fancied them. That's interesting though, because, um, like fancy, like you dress fancy. In the but US. once you've established that someone is fit and you're pretty sure you fancy them, you'll probably want to try and snog them. Or as you say in America, make out with them. Snogging is the best word. I'm gonna say it again, snogging. No one really knows where the word snog came from, although most dictionaries say it came about in the 1950s. Much like making out, snogging should only be used in a romantic context. It is not the same as a peck on the cheek, and you certainly wouldn't go around snogging your relatives. Unless that's something you're into. If you're a Harry Potter fan, then you may have noticed Ron and Harry using the word on several occasions when talking about kissing girls. Honestly, they grow up so fast. One minute, they're innocently playing with their wands, and the next, snogging. We also call it tonsil tennis for obvious reasons. Let's say you're out at a bar, pub, or club with the specific goal of chatting someone up and hoping to get lucky. Well, we often call this being out on the pull. To pull someone can generally mean anything from snogging to a bit of fooling around, and is only really used when you're trying to seduce someone new or who you're not already romantically involved with. So you wouldn't really say, I want to pull my boyfriend, that just sounds weird. But you can snog him until your heart's content. Just Go and do it behind the bike shed. Pulling, like, in the US, you want to bag, bag a girl, or you know what I mean, like you want to get a girl. Pulling sounds like you want, you're want you going to pulling that, like, I don't know, it's kind of weird in the US Coming term. Coming off is another broad term, which can mean anything from a simple snog to a bit of hanky-panky. You know, heavy petting. Basically, the sort of thing they have posters telling you not to do at swimming pools. Copping off is the UK equivalent of anything around second and third base, and its broad meaning can be a tad confusing when you want to get the gossip on how your friend's date went, but equally it means you don't have to divulge too many details. Now, when two people love each other very much and they're past the realms of copping off with each other, then there's only one thing left to do, shag. For a seemingly reserved nation, the Brits have a lot of words for, how should I put this, spending the night together? Yep, shagging, bonking, or getting your leg over are what you Americans might call a home run. Also, let's say you found uh, someone. Yeah, hold up. We don't say home run. We say, uh. Man, what do we say? I mean, different, different years, we say different terms. 
Like if you bagged her, I bagged her last night, or it'd be like, uh, I hit that last night, or, no, we don't say home run. That, that's more or less like 1990s, 1980s term. We don't say home run. Fit, and you wanted to go all the way with them. You might describe them as being totally shaggable, or as Austin Powers put it, you're very shagadelic, baby. Except we don't really say that, like, ever. Mm. Have you come across any crazy British dating words? Let us know in the comments. Remember, you can I already got through two or three or four. You just said that's already some I already came across of. So let's go. Let's go through this. So fit in U.S. term is like you know if the person works out, like she said. Um, it's just very interesting words I've like learned because I never knew this. I thought British people had the same type of words as the U.S. does. But I'm wrong. Uh, I just never ever heard these words. I'm like still like kind of like wrapping my head around this. Like, how do I go out in public? Say for example, I go to Britain, and I mean the UK, my bad. And I talk to a girl. I say, yo, like, <laughs> oh my god. So it'd be like, yo, like, uh. Wait, what's the word? Let me check for it. Let me check for it. Where is it? I'm trying to find it. Give me a second. Uh, you want to cop copy off? It's weird though. Like, it's like, it's like certain words. Like, I feel like I'll just feel kind of like uncomfortable saying because I'm so used to U.S. terms. Like, you don't want to go back to my place. You want to, you know, that's. <laughs> but hey, man, we learn from a lot of places. No matter if it's dating, if it's speaking a certain language, if it's a different type of food, it's cool. Um, maybe when I go to the UK again, I'll maybe use some of these words and see how I sound. And they're gonna, I, I bet you, I bet you 70%, 80% of the time, the girl or whoever around me could be like, bro, you're American, don't say it. <laughs> but uh, yeah guys, if you have any other UK video, comment down below, we're more happy to do any of them. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the video. Peace.